Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is The Lawn Care Life. In today's video, I'm going to try to find 20 weeds in this overgrown nasty yard. Talk to you about the weeds and talk to you about how you can control the weeds. Now today's video is sponsored by my friends at Graham Spray Equipment. They make the big spray tank that you've probably seen on the back of my work truck if you're a regular watcher of the channel. If you're not, you should subscribe to get more videos like this. So let's get started taking a look at 20 weeds. I'm gonna try to give you some tips on how to get rid of these weeds, but identifying them is a big part of knowing how to get rid of them. So let's get started right now, thanks. Now I'm filming this video in the summer, and so you, you could you know sort of call these summer weeds, but I wouldn't say summer weeds is necessarily proper because some of these weeds you're gonna see in the summer, in the winter, in the fall, in the spring. So uh, some of them, you know, different parts of the time of the year, but it is in summer, so, and weeds do look different, different times of the year, different uh, stages of their life. So, let's get started, see what we have. We're going to start off with an easy one, and just some simple white clover here. Got a faded out, pathetic looking bloom, but that is white clover. Number two, going with chamber bitter. Looks like a baby mimosa tree. Uh, mimosa, I, I said that a little wrong. But anyway, um, you know, I, I use a product called Change Up a lot. It's not, you know, it's uh, great for a lot of broadleaf weed. It would knock out the clover or the chamber bitter, a lot of broadleaf weeds. Um, but there's other products you can use for those, but those that's one I like to use. All right, number three, we're going with one of my all-time ones I talk about a lot is Dallas grass. Nightmare weed, looks terrible. That's what the seed head looks like sometimes it'll have more uh, you know look something like that a uh, very thick stalk so that's number three douse grass really difficult to control i use celsius and certainty combined a lot of times get some decent results like that now let me show you this one this is called carpet grass and it looks kind of like centipede grass a little bit you see that lighter colored stuff now this is zoysia here um, and this is carpet grass and, and the seed head kind of gives it away. So you see it'll have a Y a Y and then it has one other one that comes off the uh, right below the Y. Let me show you another example So you got the Y and then one below the Y. It's weird But that's what the seed head of carpet grass looks like. It's a little bit wider blade than centipede uh, but the seed head is a dead giveaway. So that is four weeds so far let's keep pressing on all right another one that change up is great product for is this weed right here it's called lespedeza and it really likes centipede yards for whatever reason i think that's kind of weird you know that some weeds like one particular kind of grass they just do well and, and for whatever reason lespedeza does i mean it's not like you won't find any other kind of grass but really does well in a centipede lawn so all right number six hidden in here a little bit but let me show you to you you see the the vine that's down here so i'm pointing at it like like this is the you know grass but beneath that grass there's this vine Let's see if i can break a little bit off that it even puts out a little white flower you can see that one's about to bloom and this vine is called virginia buttonweed and it'll maybe i find one later that's uh not so covered up with grass, but it's a terrible weed. I've heard Roundup won't even kill it. Uh, I use Blindside or, or Change Up's also good on that. I'm not trying to promote Change Up, but it is a great product, especially in Centipede Yard. This yard's mostly Centipede. Uh, and this is a, this is the Centipede seed heads. You can see how much different that is from carpet grass. So they're not that hard to tell apart when you see them side by side. Here's an example of a Virginia buttonweed with the little flowers all over it. So you can see it again with this little vine growing throughout here. All right, number seven, I'm gonna go with Bahia grass. And you can see the Y stalk on it. So it's even grows up taller than the carpet grass, but there's no, uh, no shoot coming off of the side. It's just the classic Y. I don't like to show people on Bahia grass Sometimes before it's not putting up a seed head, you can pull up the plant from the, you know, down by the base. The plant usually has a pinkish purple color to it. Look at that. See the color down there at the base of the plant? That's bahia grass. Bahia grass, we use metzel furon, probably like MSM turf or something. Very inexpensive product. We use that a quarter of an ounce per acre. 
which is a very tiny, tiny amount. It's hard to mix up in a small sprayer, but a quarter ounce per acre, it will suppress the seed head and make bahia grass not put up that seed head um, nearly as quickly. And, and you may even go up on that a half ounce or something like that, and you, you might can kill the plant, but even at a quarter ounce, which is super low rate, it will suppress the seed head. All right, number eight, I'm going with annual foxtail. And you see this real reddish color down in the center of the plant. The plant has kind of a bluish green leaf. Let me show you even what the seed head looks like. You see where it gets its name, foxtail. So that's the foxtail seed head. I used Celsius and certainty recently on foxtail and it did fantastic, but that's not the only product. You can use, you know, quinclorac products or uh, maybe dismiss NXT, I can't remember. That works good on or not but um and then we're gonna go on straight to number nine it's better sometimes out here where there's not as much grass and way you can see the weeds better now this is crabgrass number nine we again you want to prevent that with your pre-emergent if you can we use prodiamine i'm in alabama so we use it like in january and february before the crabgrass germinates but uh, the celsius and certainty combo i like to use a lot it works great on crabgrass from a post-emergent standpoint I mean, it may take multiple applications to kill it, but definitely a turn it brown in one application, or you can use quinclorac products as a post-emergent, like Solitaire or Drive Accelerate or uh, Q-Ball. They all have quinclorac in it. Q4 is another one that people use. All right, number 10, and these do get in your lawn sometimes. If this is Virginia Creeper, okay? It's got five leaves that climb straight up the wall of your house or on a privacy fence, and then you got Poison Ivy right here beside it. Poison oak. I'm not. Uh, I get confused on poison ivy, poison oak, but you can touch this one for sure. Okay, so this is gonna be number ten, poison oak, poison ivy number eleven. Maybe y'all can clarify which one is which, but not gonna touch that one for sure. All right, number twelve. This little round lily pad looking thing. I believe that's called dichondra, and I'll be honest. I don't really know how to kill it. So if you got a product that works good on dichondra. Um, please let me know, but it, it can be a little bit tough in my experience. Number 13, look at this guy. I'm going with dog fennel on that one. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is called dog fennel. Again, a lot of these weeds can be prevented, if they're annual weeds can be prevented with a, a properly timed application of a pre-emergent herbicide but um you know you can also get them with a post-emergent let me show you this one this is one me and him are, are not friends this is called broom sedge it's got a real flat flat leaf to it i i don't you know it's just it's just flat i don't think it's actually a sedge but very difficult to control on the lawn sometimes i just had to spray it with weed killer if there's not much if i'm at running a weed control and fertilization business and they got a lot of broom sage sometimes it can be a sign of acidic soil and honestly if there's a bunch of it i try not to take on that customer because it's just a real problem to get rid of but number 14 is broom sage number 15 type of sage this is kalinga i think this one is specifically coxcomb kalinga but i'm not 100 sure on that but it is a definitely a type of kalinga i'm almost positive of that I'm almost positive that it's a type of Kalinga. Uh, but anyway, if you know specifically what type this one is, you see those little spiky spurs coming out of it. The Kalingas are tough. You know, if you use like Dismiss products like Blindside or Dismiss NXT, and usually get some quick burn down action on those. But um, they, they're very difficult to get rid of. I'm thinking about actually starting to use Spectacle in the, in the spring to help control some of the Kalinga hopefully from a, a pre-emergent standpoint because it, it, they're just tough um, but anyway yeah, there are options out there I mean you use certainty and stuff like that to help get rid of them. got these martin birds flying around eating mayflies they're just the mayflies are going nuts number 16 you got wild violet with this heart shaped leaf it'll sometimes put out a purple flower and it's a, a little bit tough one to control we use products with uh, with quinclorac in it, same kind of post-emergent use for crabgrass, uh, usually do pretty well on wild violet. Number 17, we got nut sedge, and this is specifically yellow nut sedge, a really tall one. It, the purple nut sedge has a little darker colored leaf and grows lower to the ground. 
Um, this is some really tall yellow nut sedge in here. Again, you use your sedge products. You can use uh, Pro Sedge or Certainty or two I commonly use. Number 18, you find it often in the cracks of your sidewalk, but also uh, in the yard. This is called Spurge, another broadleaf weed. Another broadleaf uh, weed. Looks like Lespedeza, sort of, but the Lespedeza grows uh, more in masses, I feel like, and also has a woodier stem, a little bit tougher to control, but um, this is Spurge, our number 18 on our countdown. Two more to go. Let's go. Number 19, this is Oxalis or yellow wood sorrel. It'll have a little yellow flower. looks like a little clover. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a little bit tough one. Sometimes when I spray 2,4-D or a product called Triplet, like in the early in the year, uh, say January, mixing it with my Prodimine, it won't kill this weed. I'm not sure why. So I had to go back and um, use a different product like, like Change Up or something like that to spot treat. Uh, I use blindside sometimes, and I'll spot treat the oxalis and knock it out. So that's number 19. We got one more. Who's going to be our final contestant for today? And the last one I'm going to show you is this weed right here called cudweed. I believe that's cudweed at least. Correct me if I'm wrong, but cudweed is, has been hanging around in this yard for quite some time. So oftentimes you'll see it early in the year, and it's one that you can get rid of. But um, this is cudweed in the yard.